Greetings, beloved. Welcome to Narrowgate Channel. Another beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad and late. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narrowgate Channel. Let us learn together. It's operation. Give Jesus your 100%. In 2023, beloved, the door of the ark is closing. The honors lies on individuals. If you want to be part of the ark, you have to run for your life. Our Father is wrapping up. He said, Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast, which thou has that no man take thy crown. Praise the name of the Lord. We serve a powerful God, beloved, the great I am, the one and only risen King. In him are hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom. Hallelujah. We continue, beloved. I said I was going to redo the video of covering of our hair includes our neck as well, or covering of our hair includes our neck as well. This is for the sisters. Praise the name of the Lord. Before I go into it, I will read the word of God from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11. And I will attach in the description box the video where I shared about nakedness. So I will not gonna go and cover that again. Please, if you haven't listened to it, listen to that video for you to understand why exposing your neck is nakedness before our father as a woman. Praise the name of the Lord. So I will read. Be ye followers of me, even as I am of Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ and the head of the woman is the man and the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. For that is even all one as if she were shaven. That is the word of God, beloved, and it is straightforward. I know there are many people who brings out verse 15 that says, but if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given for a covering. Yes, a woman's hair is her glory. It's given to her as her covering, but it is not her authority. And think about it, beloved. If really the hair was the covering, let me read. Just keep that in mind. Keep verse 15 in mind. That says that, but if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her. Okay? It is a glory. It is her beauty. For her hair is given her for a covering. Okay? So if this covering is the covering that Paul is talking about in verse 5, when he said, Every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. For that is even all when as she were shaven. So Paul is saying that if a woman is praying or prophesying with her head uncovered, she is dishonoring her head. So this is about authority. This is not the same covering that Paul is talking about in verse 15. In verse 15, he's telling us that women, we ought to have our hair because it's our glory. It's our beauty. That's why God does not want us to shave our hair because it's a shame. So he allows us to keep our hair. Unlike men, he has forbidden the men to keep their hair like a woman. So it is not the same covering that Paul is talking about in verse 5. In verse 5, he is talking about authority that we ought to have because we are under a man. A man is under the Lord. The Lord is under God. The Lord meaning Jesus Christ. So from verse 1 to 5, Paul is talking about authority. 
So if we are saying a woman's hair is her covering, then it will mean men who praise and prophesy with their hair, they are dishonoring God. Are we saying then that men should shave their hair completely before they pray? I have read a couple of times where someone was bringing this issue of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 15 that a woman's hair is her covering. A woman's long hair is a covering. A woman's long hair is her beauty, it's her glory. And God has given her as a covering, not as authority. Paul in verse 5, he was talking about authority. A woman must have authority on her head. And I'm going to read verse 10. He said, for this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of angels. It is clear. The woman must have power on her head because of angels all the time. And verse 10 is telling us that a woman must have this power over her head all the time. Not only when she is praying, not only when she is prophesying, all the time because of the angels. Your beauty is for your husband as a woman. Your glory is for your husband. Why do you want to go around showing your beauty to everyone? You want to cause other brothers to fall because of your beauty, because of your glory. That's why you have to cover it. Because of the angels. It's your beauty. It's for your husband. Praise the name of the Lord. So covering of our hair is all the time, beloved. And covering our hair includes our necks as sisters. So when you are leaving home, please cover your neck. When you are in public spaces or public places, please make sure that your neck is covered. If you are home and there are strangers in your home other than your family, then you must cover your neck. But if you are doing your chores inside home where there are no strangers, you can just cover your head without your neck. But please do not leave home with your necks uncovered. You have to cover your head and your neck. Praise the name of the Lord. So beloved, last time I showed you um, how a tie must scarf. It is really simple. Simplicity is the way to go, okay? And I said the best to get, get 2 meters, 2.2, 2.3, 2.5 is the best. Anything less than 2 meters, you will struggle because it will keep on uh, coming out. You will have to be fixing it all the time. So the longer, the better. The length of your scarf, if you get 2.5, is perfect. And your width Make it between 85 and 90 centimeters. Then you will have peace of mind. If your scarf is short, it will give you trouble. I know. It's things that we are learning as we go. Because our father does not allow us to put anything. You cannot put anything to pin it. You cannot put any button or anything. You cannot tie it either. <laughs> he does not want it. He will show you wearing a necklace. It just has to be a material that you tie and that's all. So I'm going to show you um, this is two meter, two meters. Okay. This is two meters and it's 90 centimeter wide. So it's two meters long, just slightly over two meters long and the 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 width of it is 90 uh it's 90 um 90 centimeters okay so i love this cuff it sits well okay like i showed you in the other video all you do is you fold the material a bit you know so that you just make it neat 
the reason why the width has to be enough is to avoid it showing at the back if it's not enough your back will be showing and the most important thing again beloved make sure that the neck is small if the neck area is wide you will battle to cover the side you know you will battle to cover the side you will see it it will be opening on the side so whoever is making your dress tell them that they must make the neck smaller and remember no buttons we cannot say to make the neck smaller we need buttons or zips no our dresses should be simple and plain nothing nothing no pockets no buttons nothing okay so if you make the neck smaller it's much easier when you put on the scarf so i just fold it a little bit like this you know so down you can see there's still enough material to cover me properly okay so and that's all you just put it over you uh like i last time i'll just put over the the scarf you know you put over uh your head and just make sure that you know you are covered just pardon me with all the <laughs> because i have to wait on top of the other i cannot leave my hair out it is not even an option with our father okay so you just come it's gonna be thick because um i'm i'm putting on top of the other but it is that simple you just come and then you adjust it you know whichever way that suits you and you throw it over you know so it's long enough to stay you know you leave it there and at the back as well you make sure at the back it's enough you throw it over and you know you just fix it the way that suits you and that's it that's it there's nothing else just remember the longer the scarf the better the coverage so the width like i said you can make it between 85 and 90 centimeters so it is enough for you when you fold in front and the length beloved from 2.2 to 2.5 is the best two meters is fine but 2.2 to 2.5 is the best then you have peace of mind and you just tie it as simple as that so that's it for this video, beloved. I love you all. Stay blessed as we continue to learn. Bye-bye.